Hey guys, so for my first tutorial, I would like to post this iPhone or iPod case 1D holder. And it's super easy. It sells compared to iPhone and I made it a little smaller compared to it. You'll see at the end how it looks like because I'm making it for an iPod touch. And this is actually really easy and I hope it helps. And you can embroider any name or anything on the back and design however you want. It's your choice. Be creative. So I hope you like this tutorial. So the materials you'll need are white felt, red felt, some ribbon if you want to make it a keychain. So that you can just put on your keychain whatever. Red thread and white thread, but I just lose like everything. So I'm going to use hot glue, some a sewing needle, a fabric scissors, and of course your iPhone you need to measure with. So I'm going to use this one. So first, when you get your red phone, ignore my black finger that I was painting. You just want to take your iPhone, and I took the case off of mine, and you want to measure it, and make it a little bigger or a little smaller. Mine, I'm going to make mine a little smaller, because I'm going to like stick out, and cut out two of those pieces. So now, this is how it looked like when I was done. And as you see, I went ahead of time, and I already made the bottoms round, like the logo, as you see in this picture right here. So now you just want to get your white felt and cut out a rectangle that's as as the width is as long as this but kind of shorter than this whole thing. And then you want to get a marker, pen or pencil, I suggest marker because it's easier to wash out. And after you get that marker you just want to get that logo, you just want to draw it, you don't have to do the details or anything, just the one and the D. And after you do that, just cut it out and wash it in water. And if you do marker, like Crayola marker, it will get out really easily. So I'm going to wash mine at the end. But as you can see, it's coming along now. It looks like the logo actually. And it's pretty easy to cut out. And as you can see, I traced it more than once. And I try to make it perfect. And I used pen. And it was so hard to get it. So that's why I suggest marker. So now I'm just going to take my hot glue and hot glue it on. So as you can see, I did that. And now on the back, you can embroider one direction. Or you can cut it out of felt. Um, I was going to embroider Nile and give it to my friend. But I thought I was stuck at embroidering and it ruined the whole thing. So now you just want to get your sewing needle and thread it with your red thread so I have my braided ribbon right here so now I'm just gonna fold it in half and attach it to the back of this piece and I'll come back to you when I'm done doing that So this is how it looks like when it's done. So next I thread my needle with the red thread. And you want to do the blanket stitch all around here. And I'm going to show you how um, I'm doing it like the other ones I guess. So this is the finished product, and as you can see, it's a bit big for the iPhone, but I made it for iPod Touch. But I really like it, it's really cute, and you can hang it on to like a keychain or something, and if you use the iPhone, it pretty, I'm pretty sure it won't fall out. So I really hope you liked the tutorial, if you use anything, please give me credit. Thanks for watching, bye guys!